He sure did! Yeah! Awesome! Two minutes in, I've already got my first bet. Wow, get a load of that. How's that for an office? What an absolute bloody cracker of a day. And welcome to the cool temperate rainforest of Western Tassie. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a gear review today. I had a company, Smako, reach out to me and they asked if I'd be keen to try their miniature scuba tanks. And I thought, yep, I could definitely find a use for that doing gold prospecting. So they've sent me out this little two liter scuba tank and also a compressor. This is a Heap 1 Smako compressor and it can power via 12 volt battery or with the old AC connection. So today I'm going to be running it with my Blue Eddy power bank which you might remember from a previous review vid that I did and it's quite simple. Uh, you connect the tank with this hose here, like that. Bleed valve should be loose. Uh, turn the power on. Switch to AC. Close the bleed valve and switch on. All right, so while the tank's filling up, I better give you guys a bit of a disclaimer because this type of stuff, if you don't know what you're doing, can be deadly. I have actually spent a lot of time scuba diving and I am a certified rescue diver. Now, if you're going to buy some of this equipment and you're gonna start using it straight away, I would highly encourage you. You need to get your, at least your open water certificate so that you can become familiar and confident in your surroundings when you are scuba diving. Alright, so that was it. About 25 minutes it took me to fill this up to 200 bar or about 3000 PSI. Now it does go up to 300 bar or 4500 PSI. Anyhow, we'll see how long we get out of it with 200 bars only. Um, so quite simple to use. You've got your gauge and you've got your regulator. Now this is a silicon regulator with an inbuilt Micron air filtration system. Uh, before getting in, we'll switch the valve to on. That will supply oxygen to the regulator and I'll just simply breathe in to get the air. I like to have that over to the right side, so if you need to find it, you can swoop your arm around and you can grab it.
So I gotta say, that feeling of being able to breathe underwater never gets old. It's like doing the impossible. It's like magic, every time. So I'm just searching the bottom of this deep pool here, looking for any bedrock that might contain cracks and crevices that could potentially trap gold. This one here looks pretty perfect. It's filled with tight packed rocks which is a good sign it has tons of heavy material pass over it. Cleaning out the tight packed rocks can be an exciting task, but unfortunately, this crack didn't have any gold in it. Moving on to the next section, I came across this prehistoric monster. A giant freshwater crayfish. These creatures can live for as long as humans and can grow to a length of one meter. Leaving him alone, I found some rough bedrock, which looked like a good place to trap gold that might be traveling over its surface. But before I could check out the bedrock, I had to remove this massive slab laying over the top of it. And sure enough, just like that, the gold gods began to shine on me. Awesome! Two minutes in, I've already got my first bet. Nothing quite compares to the feeling of being underwater mining for buried treasure. It's a privilege and an honour that I'll never take for granted. probably got maximum 10 minutes uh, at 200 bars which is probably about right I think you get about 20 minutes when they're full um, and I was like about three or four meters deep so obviously the air consumption would be a lot faster but nonetheless managed to get some gold it's recharging right now so we'll have a look at this gold here I got a few little specks out of a crack too bad four four little bits there and that one there actually has a little bit of thickness it's a little beady bit and then the rest so it's slowly getting up there now not long to go. All right, second tank. Let's go. Heading back to the crevice, I was excited to see what else lay buried underneath. As I'd only just got started on it, before when my air ran out. And just as I expected, more gold was laying patiently waiting to be snuffed up.
Well, that's a lot of fun. But I'm out of air again. Good little run on that. Let's have a look at what we got in here. That is it right there. A fine little amount of candy for a good sunny afternoon. But unfortunately, that's gonna be it for this vid because I did promise Aaron that I would be home for dinner. Uh, the day's kind of gotten away from me. What do I think about the Smako two liter scuba tank? I think it is a fantastic unit. I think given the right circumstances, um, it can be an amazing tool. And for gold prospecting, anywhere that's gonna be say three meters or more for me, I'll definitely be reaching for the Smako unit. Um, and it's gonna be really handy because I'm not gonna be dealing with that kind of cord that I have with a compressor, which has a 10 foot lead on it. So super stoked with that. Thanks to the guys from Smako for sending me this unit and the compressor much appreciated i'm going to leave a link for these guys if you want to buy your own it'll be in the comment section below thanks very much for watching this video please if you enjoyed it leave a like and comment and subscribe if you haven't already help me get to that 100k it's within sight now be part of it all right see you guys in the future bye